Hello everybody, and we are back with more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Suicide Notes for All. Shelly the Killer, you had really given the bear to Miss Andrews. This item should not have been inside it. Oh yeah, also, yeah, I was gonna say, Sapera, I can't take the credit here, Sapera is the one who figured this one out. This item... I see where you're going. Yep, that's where I'm going. Where is everyone going? Do I need to pack a suitcase? Yes, you do, Judge. Suitcase to hell! <laughs> exactly. You need to take a long vacation, Judge. Your Honor, please think back to Miss Andrews' testimony. I was going to burn it for her sake. If even a single minute this bear had actually been in Miss Andrews' hands, I'm sure she would have taken the suicide out, out and burned it. Okay, my question though is if you're assuming she's a killer, why would he, wouldn't she like keep it in there to make herself an alibi? Um... Well... I guess the idea is... Why should, would she want the bear? Why, if that was the case, why would he have him bring her the bear? Yeah, okay. Well, maybe to flame the dude. Yeah. I don't know. At this point, this case has gotten so confusing. I don't think anyone knows what's <laughs> going on anymore. I, I don't there's think there's like, <laughs> there's a million reasons for each of them to do any of this. Right, exactly. Like, why would, like, the moment this guy walked into, stay in and it's like, I'm gonna reveal my like, person will hire at me, this case just went out of the window. Yeah. I, I think in real life, they would be like, this is not evidence, you can't have the killer come in and be like, this guy hired at me. Right, exactly. It doesn't work like that. Order, order! So that's where you two were going. So by the fact that this suicide note was still inside the bear, tell us that your client did know how to disassemble the, disassemble the puzzle. Which means... It means, Your Honor, that it is impossible for Adrian Andrews to be the client. <laughs> Wait, I said we were trying to drag this out. Now I'm just confused. Yeah, I thought so as well. Uh, order! 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 Ah, uh, it's the Phoenix White. I'm sure I mentioned this before. How oh, I hate traitors above all else! I think your cause examination has still demonstrated something to me. You, you must wish to break your end of your, our agreement. No, that's not. That's enough. If that is your intention, then there's only one thing for me to do. Wait, please! Gentlemen, ladies, please excuse me. I need, I need to dance the night away. <laughs> I have a matter that I must attend to. Hold it! N no, please. Not that. Please wait. You can't this fix really yourself. really awkward in the middle of the case. <laughs> this is really awkward in the middle of the case. I, 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 you know... It's among those things that probably when I first played the game was like, oh man, it's so tense. But now that I'm looking, I'm like, this is in the middle of court, you know. I, <laughs> it, it feels like, I don't know, it feels like they're having a weird love affair discussion in the middle of the court. Like, no, Maria, please don't go. Right, I mean, really, they do have a love yeah. triangle going on here. Yeah, that's true. Mr. Attorney. Bring this try to a speedy end, and I may stay my hand. Otherwise... I mean, that kind of already throws your testimony out, doesn't it? <laughs> you better yeah, do so, it Yeah, I'll bring it to a speedy end. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just in the way... Yeah. Just in the way he doesn't want, but we're, we're gonna do it. Mm. Gna What? What kind of scream is that? What in the... Mr. Wright, are you? Are you the killer? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> are, you, are you Mr. Edgeworth? 
No, no, I'm not. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, I didn't understand this witness's outburst just now. Do you think there's a need to hear more testimony, or is this enough? Uh, we should. Edgeworth, we can't do this. If we keep this up, Maya, she'll... <laughs> ah, you saw it. They're so powerful. I feel it in my heart. Persecution, I... What has come over everyone? Even you are. Persecution, West. What is well, I? <laughs> oh, seriously, jeez. What is going on around here? That's an excellent question. Oh no, I'm actually totally fine. The prosecution has no further questions here, no. Whoa. What? That's some bullshit. <laughs> you could ask more questions, <laughs> man. I get paid by the question. Exactly. Well, I never thought I'd see the day. This is a most unusual situation. Prosecution rests with no further questions, then... The prosecution has failed to uphold its stance. Wait, what's that? I'm just confused on what's going on. Someone has. Exactly. If that is the case, then even though I'm reluctant, I must believe that Mr. DeKiller's testimony is accurate. Even How? though it's... <laughs> I know. Even though it's Which part is accurate? The revised version or the original one? <laughs> I don't know. That would mean that Shirley DeKiller's client is Adrian Andrews. Even though she could not be the one who received the bear. Yeah. Nah. I, I okay, guess I that... don't know why we can't just mm -hmm. go to her and then like get the killer and then not go to her afterwards. I said against the worst. You can't like go back on your case. You, you know, actually, like in real it's... life, isn't that what you do all the time anyway? A... Don't you keep applying for a record case? Yeah, you know, actually, that's a fair point. I mean, we could just be like, Adrian Andrews is guilty, I guess, and then, you know, a day later be like, we're sorry, bitch, we just had to solve a thing. Because I'm pretty sure in real life, if they find new evidence, the case is armed again. Yeah, exactly. And I think getting the killer is new evidence. But you gotta remember, Sapir, you gotta solve it in three days max. Anything less than that, and the case is done. You're done. If, I, unless with that one guy, you know, with one karma, the case yeah. got up oh, like 20 years later again. <laughs> you know, that's actually true. I didn't think about that. Hmm. Mr. Wright. So I guess they can get opened again. I, I mean, it makes sense that they can, obviously, but this universe is so weird. I, I, I would believe that they couldn't. Y yes, Your Honor? I am the trial right here, then your client, Matt Engard, would be declared innocent. I'm having a deja vu. Yeah. And in his place, Adrian Andrews would be charged with murder. Yeah. Miss Andrews would be charged with murder, because we didn't already get that. I saw... I mean, just, we all, all of this is against evidence based on one statement from the killer. Right, exactly. I, I don't see what how the What is the judge... point of evidence? Obviously, testimony outweighs all. It really seems to. I don't know what. I don't get this court at all. Freaking judge. Freaking judge being able to be like, well, I don't know. I guess it's whatever I feel like today. It's because he killed the jury. Yeah. The prosecution has no further questions, so we will now hear the defense's final remark. Bailiff, please bring the defendant, Matt Engard, to the stand. All he has to do is say nothing, and he's gonna fuck it up, I know it. <laughs> exactly. The items from the killer's hideout didn't make it in time. We tried as hard as we could, but it looks like our time has run out. And, and Shut up, me. Even better. Yeah, can't believe it. The outcome now lies in your hands. Not like normally. It's totally not in your hands. Exactly. Ah, uh, let's see. Dude, did the old guy finally decide? Why do you have such a puppy face? Uh, to be honest, I can't think of you as truly innocent and good person. Because, quite frankly, you're not. You've done enough evil to drive a woman to suicide. Wait, 
we've proven that the note wasn't his, so honestly, he know nothing. You know, that's actually John true. Judge. <laughs> uh, get wrecked, Judge. Your opinions don't matter. Why don't you go back to law school? Which clearly doesn't exist in this universe. But, at least on the charge of murder, it would appear you are innocent. Ha. I'm not. See, I knew it! <laughs> uh, why the yeah. fuck? Why would he even do that? That's so dumb. Everyone in this case I is mean, dumb. I mean, I knew it. And, like, this case is so... Like, you win. And he's like, nah. I don't really feel like winning. <laughs> Like, I, like, I'm yeah. sorry, but I'm the killer must, must be like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I should really stop getting my clients to hire me on Reddit. This is just fucking insulting. Seriously. You know what? I blame Ghost Trick. I don't even know why, I just do. <laughs> but he's a woman from Ghost Trick, I'm sure. Yeah. Like, this after entire this case, case, he has an operation yeah. and becomes a woman from Ghost Trick. <laughs> this entire case is the woman from Ghost Trick. So, I guess even the old funny duddy figured me out. M Mr. Engard, you were atrocious as a lawyer, weren't you? Giving your client away like this, and that refreshing like a spring breeze crap. It's just as atrocious, don't you agree? What are you doing? I know, seriously. This I like your puppy face, but now you just, like, it's almost like they want to make me feel not bad for getting this guy goated. <laughs> well, I understand that, but I think he should be a little less of an idiot considering that it's in front of a freaking audience and he has no reason to reveal himself yet. I mean, this is in front of an audience. This is this is already Just before ruined he was to let non guilty. Right, exactly. This is still going to ruin his image even if he does get non guilty. Yeah. So he's, I don't think he's going to get another place on a Sherrod show. I don't think so either. I wouldn't I wouldn't give someone with a smile like that a place on my children's show. Also, imagine it. I know this is like just in general, but I think how many people die here in the, in the production of like Sherrod show. Yeah. Imagine if this was a common thing with like uh, with other Sherrod show, like with My Little Pony or whatever. <laughs> but like, oh, Tara Strong oh. is accused of murdering Annabelle Lippman or whatever. Oh man, that explains Tara Strong's amazing voice talent. She she kills other voice actors and absorbs and their the, powers. She's she she's eats the Kirby. Whole pick, but... Yeah, she's the, she's the Kirby of voice acting. I guess that's basically but, but you you see what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I see it, what it you would mean. be I, I think your career would be very short, even if you'd got not found good, like it just oh. keeps happening. Yeah, I think so. It make it would certainly make television pretty short lived if if this was just so constant. Anyway, get on with it and pronounce me innocent already. <laughs> get on with it. It's not like I'm the one who stubbed you. Ah, uh, seriously. Right, Mr. Lawyer. Should I side with justice, or should I save Maya's life? I so let's, what's the same thing. Yeah, let's, let's side with justice here. Better get N... Oh, wait. You better get N got a goody sentence, okay? But... But if I did that, Maya will die! But if I anyway. say he's innocent, then Miss Andrews will be charged as the murderer. So I it's also win-win. I don't know what I'm this guy's guilty. problem is. He wins either way. Either choice. I make someone's life is going to end. Jeez, do they do, do, they do freaking the... the um... <laughs> Do they kill murderers that fast in this universe? They're like, okay, well, you're guilty. Freaking, freaking immediately the same day, they're like, okay, get the, get the judge in here with an axe. Gotta kill, the gotta execute the guilty party right here, right now. Yeah, it would explain a lot of what a judge. <laughs> yeah. Why well, he's being, like, haunted every night <laughs> by the millions of people he has axed to death. Probably he so. He has axed off. That ex <laughs> explains everything about the universe. He is the judge, jury, and executioner. See, that's because he's already a judge and a jury. Yeah, exactly. Hinges on what I choose. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear the defense's final statements on this matter. The person who hired the assassin was Adrian Andrews. 
then your client, Mr. Matt, and your uneasiness. It's a little bit different to say that right now. I know, seriously. Jesus, Matt. Maybe he has like a suicide wish. Yeah. Maybe you, he hates himself. Maybe so. Could you call? Cool, could you? Could you put away your evil boner for just a second, Matt? Jesus. Hm. There's no need to ask, old man. After all, my lawyer is going to say what I want, aren't you? What? I can't. I can't do this. But I have to decide something. I can't count on the evidence to help me anymore. I have to listen to my heart. It, it, it just mostly beats. Yeah. Boom. Ba boom. Ba boom. <laughs> Alright, so decision time. Not guilty. Oh. Even, I, I, I would guilty, but I just want to see what happens because I know nothing's going to happen if you say not guilty. Okay. Not guilty. Oh no, everything's going white, and there's a truck outside that people clearly can't hear. We're all waiting for your answer, Mr. Wright. Matt Engard, your client, deserves an answer. Wait, since. It's okay. Since when do you guys ask us anyway? I know, seriously. Like, like I've, we have never been asked before what our client is. <laughs> We haven't. It, it's weird that he, the judge is so direct on this case. Where he's like, well, you've it's got like to he do He knows that yeah. this whole case is just bullshit. It, it is. He's like, I just want to get this sham over with so I can go home already. Matt Engard is... Objection? Ah, <laughs> oh, snap! For Francisca von Karma! She's here for some reason. Also, look at that. I don't even know what to say about that. Hey, it's... She looks very not German, but that's okay. <laughs> no, she's just German. Look, she's clearly hailing Hitler right now. It's very, I don't know, she looks like a Japanese interpretation of German. <laughs> I don't well... know since when Germans wear like giant blue gems. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, that's fair. She is Impressive. indeed. Uh, yeah, we can move on, but. <laughs> I thought that was just something everyone German did. Ow! You see me now, don't you, Mr. White? Well, yeah. No, I actually don't have eyes. <laughs> this is exactly why you should never take your eyes off the scruffy fool. Did you bring them? The finer pieces. Do you have them? <laughs> I said, did she just push out that guy to the floor? <laughs> no, I mean, for being a super villain, he's kind of a noob. I think so. That seems to be what it implies. I imagine she came in and whipped him in the face, because we saw the whipping action when well, she shouted she objection. Deeply. Oh, well, it, uh, I guess it could imply that, but Phoenix Wright didn't react in a pained way, so I assume not. Wait, he used to. Yeah. You should know better than to us, Zed, Mr. Mize Edgeworth. As one karma is perfect in every way, the evidence is here in perfect condition. But you're so good <laughs> that you stopped a car crash. <laughs> I don't know. Or you went back in time and yeah, stopped she, the car crash. She just randomly was like, oh, here's a car crash. Oh, wait, there's there's gumshoe. I better steal her shit. Oh, this looks like evidence. Don't worry about Scruffy. He's fine and his injuries are minor. Yeah, you that's... You to the face. <laughs> exactly. All of the items are inside this. What a filthy old coat this is. That's gumshoes. I can spot his tattered rags anywhere. Damn, I remember them looking so bad when he was back them. <laughs> I know, seriously. Also, I'm sure they tell that because he wasn't a car crash, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna think that too. And you know, honestly, they don't even look that bad, except for the fact that it's rolled into a ball, but you know. I apologize for its ugliness, but there was nothing else to wrap <laughs> the item in. <laughs> that is a pretty fine guy. Yeah. One karma, you just got 10 bonus points. Yeah. I fought long and hard this whole trial. All for what is inside that raggedy coat. I'm sure that inside that coat lies a crucial piece of evidence. Your honor, inside that filthy coat, are the defense's final pieces of evidence. 
your final evidence. That just yeah, sounds Alan, stupid. He, he returned. Yeah, he returned somehow for a little bit. Trial is already over. All that remains is for me to hand down my verdict. I do not believe that any evidence presented now would change the outcome of this trial. You were the person who asked the defense whether or not he believes the person is guilty. I know, seriously. Why did you even bother asking me that? What? Objection! I agree. Your Honor, it is our duty to examine every piece of evidence down to the last. I request that Ms. One Karma be allowed to present these pieces of evidence. Hmm. I suppose you're right, Mr. Edgeworth. I grant you permission to do so. Have a. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for just changing your mind when Edgeworth speaks up. There's one obvious rule applies here. If these items do not bring up any new points, then they will not be accepted by this court. But if they don't bring any up new any if they don't bring any new points up, then I guess it doesn't matter either way. Right, exactly. So why are you so freaking worried about it, Judge? Jesus. Uh normally you're normally you get smarter during the last trial of the game. I don't really just why it has been so dumb that maybe we dragged him down. Yeah, I th I think it's dragged everyone down. Now, Miss Von Karma, if you please. These pieces of evidence? Are items left by the killer during his escape from the police. Hmm, he must have been in quite a rush. Yes, Your Honor. The killer left three pieces of evidence. Didn't you already say that? The three pieces? No. Oh, okay. Somewhere among the evidence we're about to see, there'll be something that will turn this whole situation around. Like a miracle. I'm sure of it. Wait, we're gonna find Jesus in there? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. This entire this entire game has actually been leading up to a Christmas miracle. <laughs> oh no, it's that it's that Scooch guy. Oh, Not my the other yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. This is all we can hope for. Okay. The first item is a pistol. Yeah. Which shot me, by the way. <laughs> Does the killer's pistol have anything to do with the case? Um, Can you ask for more details, or does it like kill you? I don't know. That one comment has the best character in the case. Yeah, it is. It is sad that she's the best character in the case, but I will try question for more details and see if it kills me. Does that pistol have any relation to the case? You have yet to perform a ballistic test, so I can't say anything for sure. I I can say that the gun looks really odd. Maybe it's it just It looks me, really but... German, actually. Oh, it does? Okay. Yeah. It looks like a German... I mean, I might be completely wrong, but it <laughs> might be, make me think of, like, a German World War II officer gun. I, I think... Yeah, that's actually fair. I just know that it doesn't look anything like a modern handgun. Right, yeah, they may not be modern guns. Yeah. <laughs> uh... However, I believe it was something to do with this case, at least to me. Well, yeah, I know. You got shot. She said it shot you. Yeah. I think she's very happy about it. <laughs> I know. She's like, man, I get, I just love being this shot. This just penetrated me in ways that made me make that this were it penetrated me in ways that made me a real woman. <laughs> this, this pistol penetrated me in a way that a man never could. That's a pistol that he used to shoot you, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, Edgeworth, you don't gotta ask it like that. That's what I believe. Yes. Oh. I keep I kept the bullet that removed from my shoulder as a sort of memento. It's, it's the family thing. <laughs> I actually, gonna... I'm surprised you didn't keep it in your shoulder <laughs> as a sort of memento. I know. I was gonna say, is it just a thing in Germany? You're like, oh, I've been shot. I better keep the bullet so I remember getting shot for forever. I'm sure it would be an excellent sample for the test. So that's the pistol that was used to shoot Francisca. Probably not going to help us very much. But you can use it to shoot Francisca. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know that it really proves anything new, but it proves that the killer shot Francisca. Which proves that the killer wasn't worked in this case even after the murder. Yeah. 
exactly. Bitch Poo said his testimony was probably fake. Yeah, see, it proves a lot of things, actually. The second piece of evidence is his videotape. That the killer took that from Engard Mansion. Sounds important. I think it doesn't matter if you ask questions or not. I know, seriously. <laughs> I don't know why they give you the option, because it seems like you kind of have to ask questions. Have you checked the contents of that tape? Unfortunately, there was no time to. Oh, yeah. But I would speculate that this tape is very important. Why would you say that? Because he came back to his hideout for it. Duh. The killer went back for it? That's right, it looks like he was trying to recover it. Why did he have but time for that? When did he go back and why didn't you guys capture him? Yeah, the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. There was no time for him to go back. So guys... Maybe. Let me explain it. He injured three of the officers at the side. Jesus, this guy! Yeah, you guys suck. Man, see, you guys should have just kept Gumshoe around. Gumshoe would have just, like, gotten stabbed, the and then, yeah, he would have just stopped the bullets with his face and then tackled the killer and been like... You're pretty impressive because saying the guy mustn't have a, didn't even have his gun with him. Right, exactly. Hmm. But somehow it looks like they managed to protect it from the killer. Shelly the killer is no ordinary man. He's a really stupid man. <laughs> As we've established. The last piece of evidence is in this bad boy's uniform. Oh, yeah, that looks familiar. Is this a uniform from the Gatewater Hotel? Oh, I won't guess what that means. Was that used during the crime? I'm almost certain it was. There's even a pair of black leather gloves in one of the pockets. There's no doubt about it. The killer was wearing this on the night of the murder. There's one thing I found interesting about this uniform. And what is that? There's a button missing on this uniform. A button. Apparently... Which, wait, it's a button is missing, but he has a button, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. Also, apparently the buttons from this place have the biggest G's ever. But... Say now how to get to your G spot. I, uh, the the you could say their uniforms are gangsta, I guess. They are quite a grand hotel. <laughs> it's there a very unique button. I'm sure if you were to recover it, wait, is it unique? How? I don't know. I, I guess it's a big G on it. But I mean, it's unique in the sense that every single uniform in that place oh, has it. Yeah, I, I see your point. It will provide us with an interesting clue. I guess. Hmm. That is all I have to present, Your Honor. Now I might go back to get shot again. <laughs> it's just as I thought. And what is that, Your Honor? I'm sure, were we under normal circumstances, these items from Shelley to Killer's hideout would be very important clues. However, someone decided I should be an idiot in this case. Our question is not who did the killing. It is with a client. Yes, that is correct. These three items do not tell us anything about that. It would be so much trouble to check that videotape. Thank you for your hard work, Miss Von Kama. You may step down now. Hold it! Wait, Your Honor! Please allow me to examine this new evidence. Overruled. This court already has all the evidence it needs to hand down a verdict. How does it... <sighs> Wonderful. Absolutely splendid. This judge is such a brilliant man, isn't he? I think, this... when you're, I think when you're willing is telling you that you're brilliant, you should probably have a new life. Probably so. Phoenix. I knew it. There's no such thing as a miracle in this world, is there? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you don't have any... Take none of your kisses ever to turn about. I, I know. <laughs> I 
that's totally not the name of every single case ever. And it's not like we've miraculously taken down pretty much the biggest government official ever or anything. And a vampire. Yeah. I think you're wrong. I think they do exist. I mean, I'm a ghost. <laughs> I'm just a normal ghost. I'm not a miraculous ghost. <laughs> You've come this far. You can't give up now. But, but, no matter how you think about it, it's, it's... Try, for my sake. Just think about it for a second. There are two ways out of this situation for us. Two? That's like more than one, man. The first. Make Engard wish from the bottom of his soul for a guilty verdict. Huh? The killer will always place his client's wishes first. If Engard himself wishes to be convicted, then he will let his hostage go. <laughs> what? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm confused. Maybe me, I got a good fan here, but I didn't know that the killer was psychic. <laughs> I don't know him either. It's like, I know, Engard is saying he wants to be innocent, but I can feel it. <laughs> so he wants to be dirty. <laughs> no, seriously. Also, what kind of plan on that uh, is that I'm sure it'll have some kind of fruitation in the game, but it sounds like we're planning going, planning our entire plan on sitting here and guilt tripping the bad guy. Like, oh, you killed that girl. Don't you feel bad? She had so much to live for, man. <laughs> she was gonna like save Sharon's in Africa, man. Ah, uh, she was she was gonna bring about a new world order. Honestly, what I thought they were gonna go with mm -hmm. is that she was gonna be like, oh, make him wish for a guilty verdict, because he knows that the moment he gets out, like, if he walks out of that door, a free man, the killer's just gonna kill him anyway. Yeah. Like, so that's what she was going for, and I guess that would make too much sense, because <laughs> if you can prove that he betrayed the killer, then right. the killer would probably just kill him. <laughs> I think they actually might be going for that. Uh, well, let's see. That may be true, but... That's asking for me to do the impossible. Oh, I guess she's not going to explain her plan at all. Thanks, Mia. Second way. The she second just used that gun and shoot the dude. I mean, what's it, what's it have? <laughs> Force the killer to end his contract with Engard. The killer were to no longer think of Engard as his client, then he would let Maya go. Maya, he would pro it, She has seen his face, I assume. Yeah. And he's being hunted by the police. I don't think she he would let her go. You yeah. Either you way, I, I don't think he would let her go no matter what at this point. Yeah, that's normally not how it works. I mean it just despite everything that uh, whatever. Mia... I mean technically we could probably force him to end the contract pretty easily. He's just be like, Well, Edgeross is rich, he's just gonna pay you twice as <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's like, hey, you're an assassin. You work for money, right? Edgeworth has all of the money. Take some of it. I don't care. It's you can say it's much this old jacket that he is hanging on. Yeah, exactly. He is a man who values his duty towards his clients above all else. I know both of these seem like impossible feats at first, but if you could make either one happen, it would truly be a miracle. The bigger problem is, the judge has already said he doesn't need any more evidence. That's like, like how Maya keeps being like, you just gotta be good, man. You just gotta not be such a fucking <laughs> noob. It's like, but you don't do anything. I know, seriously. Why don't we just say these evidence and walk away? <laughs> that you do it. Uh, it's... Yeah. Like, she hasn't really helped us any this entire case. Which I find weird, because it's usually the point of having her. She's supposed to be, I don't know, very advanced in knowledge. With Maya at least makes sense, she doesn't know what she's doing. She's just- Maya is just there to distract things. Yeah, exactly. Phoenix, think things through from the other side. Isn't that what- isn't that what has always worked for us? Uh, but I don't know if us is really first day when you have been dead all this time. <laughs> I know. Bitch. Seriously. The other side. Wait, does she mean... You mean to turn things around? <laughs> oh, really? Phoenix, the judge says he doesn't need the evidence. If that's the case, then who does need it? 
What? Does, does that matter when the judge doesn't need it? <laughs> but hey, judge, I'm not presenting this evidence to you. I'm presenting this evidence to Engard. <laughs> yeah. I just gotta shove this in Engard's face real quick. Uh, gosh, this case, I... Uh, you okay Is there, man? Bothered? Yes. Okay. Is that my foot? Is that my foot? I got a message on my cell phone. Oh, okay, that's what happened. I thought How you were. Was it? I thought you were being invaded by like moose battleships. Was it that loud? It it was pretty loud, at least for me. I guess it's because it was on the same table as the microphone, so it mm. probably vibrated right into the oh, microphone's face. Yeah. The defense, prosecution, and the judge. But all see we we have seen all the pieces of evidence, and that is how we have come to know the truth. But there are people who have not seen them all, like poor people in Africa, and they don't know the truth. That truth, it may be what will bring about the miracle in the end. I don't know what you're saying. I don't either. God. It, I, I know that our part is too long. Uh, yeah, I just know that she really is sounding like some kind of weird Christmas thing here. I don't know. I know I made that joke before, but that's literally what it sounds like. I keep talking about things like a miracle and whatnot, and it's like, what is this? Are, are, we, are we in the middle of a Christmas special? Is Santa going to be, come down and be like, ho, ho, ho? Oh, uh, Santa's going to have a do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, I I think I do. I I you were going a different. Cab up, yes. Yeah, you're going different way than I was, but I was assuming for Santa's gonna come down and be like, ho ho ho! That's right, Phoenix. You just have to believe in the power of the season and the holidays and gonna true come love. Say, Santa Christ. Yeah. Because I believe in Santa Christ. Me too. So thank you all for watching. And we'll Jesus you all next time.